Hey there, welcome to the channel. So today on my bench is something completely different for me. Yeah, yeah, it's another Model Factory Hero Kit. That's all I've been building on the channel. What makes this one special is it's tiny. So this is a beautiful little box actually. Um, maybe a Ferrari. This is the 1985 Ferrari 156 from the Italian GP. So yeah, I thought I'd pick up, I, I don't know, I've seen a lot of little beautiful 143rd scale kits being done before online and uh, I thought I would give one a whirl and see what they're all about. So this is it. Let's get this um, opened up and have a quick look at it and uh, talk about my plans. So, instruction sheet. That's it, that's the kit. Not, uh, I was gonna say there's not a lot to it, but actually there's a ton to it. It's just all really tiny. So I've never built something this small before. I actually don't really like um, 24 scale plastic model kits. I mainly do 12 scale kits, um, either bikes or cars, you know, some nine scale bikes, stuff like that. That's what, I don't know, this, the size I like for a couple reasons, the level of detail you can get on them. At that scale, I think 24 scale plastic kits, they just tend to be oversimplified and I don't really like that. So I, I, I don't know, they just don't do it for me. So, but anyways, so why I chose doing a 43rd scale kit is beyond me, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Although I think you might be able to get an idea of why I went for this, you know. The level of detail on this thing is phenomenal. From what I've seen so far, I haven't taken anything out of the package yet. So this is a bit of a discovery, just not really a review, just a preview, let's say. <clears throat> but yeah, you know, it looks like you get two sheets of photo edge here. I'm going to leave them in. Oh, maybe I'll take them out. Let me get this opened up. <clears throat> kind of hard to see them through the bags. Let's get this stuff out of the way. There is the photo etch that's included. This one's, well, they're both actually super thin. This one's a little bit thicker than this one. This one's really almost paper thin. But yeah, lots of, uh, lots of little tiny photo etch stuff. The various details, looks like the end weighing elements <clears throat> for, must be two different styles. Maybe they're, that, I think there's two different versions of this kit, so two different style of uh, end plates for the rear wing front wing again looks like two different versions all the radiator grills and intercooler grills and everything so yeah tons of looks like tons of detail there anyways let's get that aside um, oh, there's a little piece of foil which fell off of one of them The tires, oh, let's get these out of the pack so we can have a good look at these little, little guys. Yeah, lovely pre-printed tires, both sides, 
You got a poor stub here that you got to get rid of. Yeah, they look good. They'll just need a light sanding to get rid of uh, a little bit of uh, an edge on the on the sides of it. But not bad at all. Nice little tires. That's a rear. This looks like the front. Nicely done. Those look really good. I want uh, want to try to do decals. That small, so that's good. This looks like the floor pan and or the under tray and the body. So yeah, she's, it's not going to be very big. You can see there how thin this white metal is. Very finely uh, molded. Um, this kit, I think it was from 2018, I want to say. And I'm not sure if it's ever been reissued, so I'm thinking this is a, uh, a first run. That's sort of the, the engine cover, the top part of the engine cover. Front of the monocoque, sit on there like that. So that'll be the size of the of this guy when she's done. So kind of intimidating, <laughs> to be honest. Although you know it, it should be. I, I've built a ton of 12 scale bikes, and, and like really, this is kind of the size of the parts on a 12 scale bike, you know, like fairings and fenders and stuff. They're not really that much bigger than this, so it shouldn't be too bad. But this is uh, this is where this little kit gets kind of impressive. Let's just get. Spread this out. Let's see what all we get. All the suspension arms. Let's see, here's the engine. V6. Brake rotors. Hopefully that's focusing, but yeah, they're uh, rather tiny. Wing elements, front wing probably. I think these are part of the uh, driver's compartment, part of the mono cock. The wheel centers. Yeah, so you get the point calipers. <laughs> I could just keep going on and on. Here, the the level of detail that's uh, in this kit is phenomenal, but the size of the parts is uh, a little intimidating. You know. Like you probably can't even see that. Well, you definitely can't if it's not focused. I, I'm pretty sure that little squiggly thing is the gear shift knob and lever. But it just looks like a piece of casting flash. It's uh, it's remarkable.
Here's the pedals. So yeah, and that's, uh, you know, that's some of it. Here's the rest. So the side pods. More suspension. Looks like exhaust. Some pipe work for the radiators. These look like they're the... Uh, Tops of the intercoolers, wing elements, radiators, lots of little bits, uh, intake manifold. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, a fair number of parts, but more than that, a fair number of really tiny parts. So this ought to be uh, quite interesting. So yeah, there's all the white metal. So the kit's primarily white metal. There's no resin at all in the kit. It's, uh, you know, white metal photo etch. The rubber and then some turn parts. So this is uh, the wheels, turned aluminum wheels. A uh, vacuform windshield and some must be probably the rain light. I don't know what the springs are for, the rear suspension probably, and a couple screws. So so that's that's the kit there. I don't know what the parts count is. Over a hundred parts I would imagine. Um, but full detail, full engine, full interior, well, cockpit, pedals, seat, gear shift, steering wheel. Um Full suspension, obviously, being an F1 car, you know, and not, you know, like there's the rear uprights. You know, nothing's been terribly simplified, really, by the looks of it, so quite impressive. So this should be a, a fun little project, that's for sure. And then uh, the last thing we'll look at is decals. Of course, it comes with the decals. Nice thing about this car for this project, being my first little tiny 43rd scale, is it's just one color. It's, it's a f red Ferrari. Um, but it comes with... All the markings, not a ton of sponsorship markings is on this one, but a bunch of um, carbon fiber decals too, which is really nice. And, you know, some more of the sponsorship logos, Marlboro logos, and so forth. There's just a protective sheet over that. All right, so here are the instructions. So. Not going to go through them too much, but you know, the, the usual color callouts and Mr. Color. There's, I didn't show them, they are in the bag though. I made sure there's some 3D printed parts included for the, the louvers up here on the top of the, uh, of the body that'll fit into the opening from the underside. So that's nice. So they're super fine. So this, this kit, like I say, is version B. Uh, but here's the instructions. It's, you know, all on just one sheet of paper. You know, not, you know, to make you think like it's simple, because I don't think it's necessarily simple. You know, definitely not as involved as, you know, a 12 scale kit, but... Uh, I think just due to the size of everything, it's it's going to uh, you know add that layer of complexity. So I'm just looking at the seat belts, and I don't recall seeing. Oh, they must be photo etch. Okay, interesting. Um, but yeah, so we got you know as you can see, full interior, full suspension. 
which would be pretty cool, all the radiators, engine detail, so full, full detail, which is nice. And then you just got to make sure going through the instructions that you're looking at the right version for a few things there. The card differs, you know, and then over the page just finishes it off with getting everything joined up and getting the wings done and getting the wheels done and then the painting and, and decal guides there obviously paint it's just red and then black wings which is all the carbon fiber they give you so that's really cool so yeah not uh i don't want to say a, not much to it but you know comparatively from what i have been building and i'm building right now it, it's definitely not quite as detailed but you know for the size of this thing it's super detailed so it, it's going to be a an, an interesting build. I'm not quite sure if this is going to go quickly or or not. You know, I've never built one, so I don't know. And I probably with this kit, just to get you know the white metal body sorted out and ready for paint, I'll probably want it all assembled and then start doing the bodywork. So. And just for familiarity, I'll probably build this up completely, like glue it together in raw white metal. Um, and then once I got, and then, you know, make sure I got all of the, because the way the side pods and the top sort of front of the monocoque and the engine lid and all that, they're all separate pieces. I'll probably want that all firmly affixed, then do the bodywork, sand everything, get it nice and smooth. Then take it all apart and if I super glue it together it's just this is all white metal so just stick it in a jar of acetone and let it sit overnight and it'll all dissolve the white or the uh the super glue the the CA glue so no risk of harming anything in that regard so so that's what I'll probably do I'll do a, a complete unpainted dry assembly of it dry assembly get everything fitting really well take it all apart paint everything and uh, do final assembly so that's probably how I'll build this now when am I going to build this I, I'm not sure I'm going to probably start on it fairly soon and I'm gonna build it you know I'm working right now at this actual point in time I'm working on my Ducati the the 750 Imola which that video series might not go up, like, right now, I'm uploading my uh, Maserati series. So, I'll probably put this video right now that you're watching, I'll put it up in between, because I'm doing every two weeks loading a build series. So, what I've been thinking was, I might work on this intermittently here and there, and I'll just do a, an update every other set Friday. Um, like in between my normal series uploads of just sort of this project or whatever else. And that's what I've been doing. I've been uploading some other little videos on those off Fridays. Um, so that's what I might do with this and just do sort of a more live build series with this guy. That Because I don't want to commit. I got no um, set deadline to get this thing built. You know, like I do for the Ducati, which I'm working on right now. I'm, I have a, a a deadline set for that, and then the one after that, I have a dead, deadline set for it as well. So, but if I want to take a little break from whatever I'm working on in the moment, I'll work on this a little bit, and then you know I'll shoot some video and just you know at at that that point in time, we'll just throw a little update up on it. So for you guys. So it's not going to be, I don't know if I'll do a full formal build series or if it'll just be the, you know, a check-in sort of build series or updates on it. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, right now I'm going to, you know, leave it at that and that'll be sort of the very loose plan for this. Um, you know, if there's enough guys that comment that they really want to see, you know, a full you know, or more detailed or whatever. We're not sure. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is if, if you like the idea of seeing this thing getting built more in sort of a 
real-time scenario drop a comment down in below and let me know if that's something that you guys would like to see then maybe I'll explore doing more of a live series with this one um, starting after obviously I upload this little review video so anyways I hope you enjoyed that little look at uh, 43rd scale model factory hero kit um, super impressive you know like the quality of the molding in this thing was excellent I didn't I, I looked at it a little bit off camera there before I showed you the instructions and yeah I wasn't seeing really any any anything of concern of course all the parts are bent they'll need straightening but that's that's to be expected with these kits and it's really not that hard to deal with at all so uh, anyways the quality looks super good it looks like probably one of the better model factory hero kits i've looked at so so yeah if you're thinking of a 43rd scale model factory hero kit you've never built one never seen one before well there was one for you I hope that helped you in your decision making. Or if you're still on the fence, you know, see how I make on getting this thing built and uh, go from there. But I don't anticipate, other than the physical size of it, I don't anticipate the kit itself being the problem. If anything, it'll be me dealing with how small this thing is. It'll be the problem. So, anyways, it'll be an adventure. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one which, you know, hopefully we'll be getting a start on this at some point in the future. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.